welcome to episode 72 of Trusty Hall. Welcome to the chaos. You that wasn't you just, very good. It felt like you hadn't thought it through. No, to the end well, of the we just had started. Hugh Goldsmith in here. We did him. Goldsmith? Goldsmith? No, we're not, no, don't we the magic? Oh, right. We haven't had him in first. <laughs> 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 Welcome to episode 72. God knows what's going to happen and who's going to come on. It's Trusty Hogs. Woo-hoo! the fog. Step for the Trusty Hogs. Yeah, you're going to give them your problems and they will solve them. Or maybe they won't, and that's your problem. They'll have guests, and Andrew White on the tech. Oh, it's Helen and Catherine as the trusty hogs. Trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. We should say what it is, just in case there's a new listener. No, um, we should. I was going to. My name's Helen Bauer. And I'm Catherine Bauhart. I am a stand-up comedian. As am I. And... An all round, just like good gal. Just okay, well, passionate, uh, patient, and loving. Into the lying section, all right. Guests love a giggle. And um, <laughs> Catherine. <laughs> and I'm stuck with you. And listen, we talk about our lives and then we try to help you pro- the problems from yours. Ooh, hard to speak today, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, listen, we have had, I've had a busy weekend. You've Helen. had a lot. Do you want to talk about it? I do. I took my girlfriend of mm-hmm. six months home to meet my family. I love how reasonably you're moving on this timeline. Can you believe? I can, I can. can you, you actually believe? have changed. I'm growing. Mm-hmm. I'm growing. I know. She even tried to introduce me to her family about three or four weeks and in and I like, said no. No, I'm good. And then she introduced me three months in and I was like, I'm away. And but that's partly because my mother gets so attached, right? She gets I know. so attached to these lesbians. I, I didn't want to break her heart. I wanted to make sure everything was good. Mm. And um and listen, it was hilarious from the outset because the first thing to say is my girlfriend's 5'7". Yes. My parents, my dad and mom are 5'1 and 5'2", respectively. Mm-hmm. So she did tower You're a smaller up. people. We're a smaller people. They think I'm towering at my 5'5". Five five. She <laughs> really was like... Absolutely my, ridiculous. My dad was looking up at her like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> um, And predictably, she and my mother had a great fell time together. Love. Fell in love. I went... Yes. I came down to them giggling, playing cards together. I was like, can I play like only a game for two? I was like, fair enough. They were adorable. Does it ever hurt and- your soul when you see your mum with like a partner and you're like, oh, I wish we could play cards and not be passive with each other? <laughs> no, because I don't want to really play cards. I, okay. It's, 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 like, on the one hand, my girlfriend does the job of like daughtering for me and on the other, my mom's so happy. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's so lovely and I don't have to do any of it. So that's great. Um, and sure, my mom flirts with them so I don't have to, I can just take a break. I can answer my emails. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's really very nice, actually. Um, and she did so well. She could understand most of what my dad said. We went on What do you mean? Well, he has a, a heavy accent. Yeah. So it's for an English person, not for an Irish person. Oh, was she, like, struggling a bit? No, no, no. But no. people have struggled in the past. Oh, I would. Um, yeah. He's also often eating while he's speaking because he's only, he only comes home to eat because he's such a busy man. He, we are cut from the same cloth. He's like, got to do something, got to do something. Gotta do something. Um, she laughed a lot when she, he said what she calls my catchphrase which is apparently come on <laughs> <gasps> oh my god I did not know you had a catchphrase until now yeah come on about, you yeah constantly yeah. she's like I'm coming on I'm right beside you I'm standing bes- I'm walking beside you come Why on it? yeah but come on I just it's just an Irish way of being like come on like off we go it's like sure we'll no it feels like a teacher being like right pencil <laughs> pencil pencil away yeah <laughs> It's it's intense. Come, what a fun catchphrase. Yeah. So he's mine like, is my vagina's itching. Oh no, it's not. God. Why would I say that? Why would I say that? Why? I don't know what's wrong with what me. What is wrong with you? No, I I, hey, I love listen. being single around February and hearing about people. So on this note, meeting. have you gone on your date? No. What the fuck, Helen? You were supposed to go on no. three. I know, but um, have you even gone on one? No, but have I am. you even tried to set one up? I'm dating myself. No, you're not. Get to fuck. I'm dating Where myself. Where have you taken yourself? To exactly get to fuck are you um, dating yourself you're not dating yourself i'm not no no i don't know what's happening i just don't want to do it okay fine I it's bad isn't it though because i made a you. promise that i would date it doesn't like, have to be now it's early in the year i just was checking in i know but i'm just not doing it but i'm telling you i think come march people be like spring will have sprung people yeah. will be ready to go out again and you might feel but like i don't think i should be putting myself out there at the moment because um lou sanders said that she's really sure i'm going to meet someone at a gig did she look at her crystals while she said that? No, but she had been with them earlier. Huh? She'd been around her crystals earlier and then she had the epiphany that she thinks I'm going to meet someone at a gig. And I believe her. I believe her. Mm. I do. I do. I think 
it's just going to happen. And by that time, I will have spent enough time learning to love myself that I will be able to accept it from the kind stranger who will be, I don't know, like in a half mile radius from me. Very okay. tall, <laughs> very beautiful. <laughs> Bit of fun, makes all my friends laugh. <laughs> um, yeah. Such a low bar. Okay, well, listen. I know it is, isn't it? That's the thing. <laughs> How can I not find someone, given the fact my bar is so incredibly just tall low? and a little bit funny just, sometimes. Just someone who can hold a conversation, <laughs> but also don't, like, in love with me, but not too in love with me. Like, yeah. um, like me, but not always. Like, don't like everything. I, you know yeah, when yeah, someone's yeah. like, someone's partner's just an absolute dick and they're like, they just lie up a room. I would love <laughs> it. Like, what, the I one would... pissing in the corner? Like... I'd love if my girlfriend liked everything I do, but she doesn't. <laughs> you do light up a room. That's kind. But um, no one can like everything someone else does. You can't. You mustn't. Okay, fine. Oh, fine the one oh. thing. What do I not like about you? Wait, Helen. This is always I... a fun no, friendship moment. Can I tell you something else that happened before we went to my parents and before you insult me? Um... So the day before, we went to body movements, as did every other homosexual in London. Now, print works. Can I explain? Yeah, yeah. You already see. You already know what that means. I did not know what that meant. Ellen's like, "Shall we go to print works?" I was like, "What's that?" She's like, "It's an all day like queer dance party." I was yeah. like, "Sounds awful." And she's like, "Please come." And I was like, "Fine." <laughs> But in my head, it was like, there's a cute little queer, like, there's like little rooms. Um, and they oh, have, no, it's a wet, not little, and they've big. Got like, they've got like a queer night in one, a queer night in another, like, you know, like Aphrodite in one or like butt yeah. please in the other. Yeah. No. No. It's two giant warehouse spaces. Yeah, both one upstairs and then one in the big down. Yeah. Both of which are filthy and both of which are playing music that you have to be on pills to enjoy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Techno. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Secondly... The bathrooms are poor to lose. Okay. You have to queue for everything. Why are you being surprised? By it's this? awful. I okay. had a terrible no, 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 no. time. But you should know it's a warehouse. Of course it's poor to lose. I was having a terrible time. These two girls come over, the loveliest girls, and are like, hey, we kind of can't believe you're here. We didn't know if we should come over. We listened to Trusty Hogs. <laughs> and I was like, I'm just so shocked at the sight of you. I was like, I also cannot believe that I'm here. I was talking so fast to them. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I had just drank, and because I just ordered three Proseccos and poured them into a pint glass, <gasps> I just drank a pint of Prosecco because I was like, I can't cope with this. I hate That this. is the least print work thing of all time. It three was, Proseccos. Yeah. Ellen kept saying I was the only person there with a blow dry. I was like, well, I didn't you know. You had a blow dry what? before you went, you fucking. Yeah. Idiot, it's sweaty in there. It's it humid. It's a different sort of like atmosphere. It was horrible. Did you go to the um, smoking area courtyard yeah, for the a break? Yeah, where the food was. Yeah, yeah. It's great. Anyway, I got hammered because I was like, I can't deal with Good this. Good for you. And so these girls come over and they're like, we were we're just gonna we we're gonna bother you, but then we saw your girlfriend's getting loads of attention, and so I thought she was getting fandom, so we should like come over to you. And I was like, these aren't her fans. <sighs> Every lesbian she's ever slept with is at this event. That's what's happening here Including now. Including you. Including me. <laughs> and I'm just in the queue. <laughs> just say hello. And they were like, oh, okay. Um, they were so nice. Shout out to the print work girls. I hated it there. Hi, print work girls. I hated it there. I hated it there. Did you not enjoy being like the one girl with the blow dry though? Like surely that fits into your world. I mean, I guess, but I still would have rather do that somewhere like I could sit down with like Adelou that was sticky, you know. I don't know if I should say something, Andrew. I, I think honesty is the best policy. We're concerned about you. What? Because <laughs> I'm trying to be young. No, just like, who are you now? I know. Like, I don't know. I guess I'm a person who okay. You randomly think... brought up football earlier, like before the <laughs> podcast, just in conversation. You've been to a football match and said it was good. You're going to daytime raves. You're introducing your girlfriend and like six months into a relation. Like it's it's genuinely a bit like mm. is, is, is Catherine evolving to become her true self? Or is she just Am I changing too much too fast? <laughs> Here's what I'll say is... Here's what I I'll want say. to love you either way, and I do. I just want to make sure that you're taking stock and still having time to do your flower arranging in your different vases. Of course I do. Okay, I know. <laughs> but like, I'm well, just like... I'm not giving up the basics. Okay, one. you're panicking. I can oh, hear your, your breathing's no, gone shallow. Okay. <laughs> See, is that... Is she laughing because she's having a nice time or is she panicking? Look it's, at me. Okay. Look at me. I want to reassure you. I have daffs and tulips in my flat as we speak. Good. I did an hour of Adrian this morning. Mm. Now, what mm. I have managed to change and I'm really happy about is I haven't moved in with my girlfriend. I have been taking things at a normal pace. I'm really proud of that. I hated the daytime rave and was only there to make her happy. 
Okay. I won't be doing that again. Understood. That was made very clear. Okay. Two, what I said about football was we saw Annie McGrath. Yeah. The comedian come yes. out, coming out of this room. Yes. And I said, don't hurt anyone at football. I didn't bring, I wasn't like, did you see the football? You still said football. You have never said football for a year. (laughs) And then it just came out a lot recently. Andrew's worried. I'm worried. We're all a bit concerned. (laughs) Because she left Ellen with a football injury last week. And then Annie said the most darkly scary thing. She just looked at me dead in the eye and went, she was able to play the following week. It wasn't that bad. (laughs) I was like, whoa, (laughs) whose leg have you broken? (laughs) Terrifying. Um, Let's just go through a couple of things that I'm nervous about. Sure. Okay. Will your hair change colour ever? Of course. What do you mean? Like when when you're not going to dye it like like I've East London, it. like blonde with dark roots or anything. No, I dyed it three weeks ago and I just made it a darker red. Okay, but th- that's they just was staying within the red. I'm not lin- having a Lindsay Lohan breakdown. I, it's worth checking. This isn't my Samantha Ronson moment. No, I will not be dying blonde. I really hope our listeners are too young to understand that reference. Fuck off! <laughs> like everyone being like, "Who's Samantha Ronson?" I, I don't know either because I'm only four. Um, <laughs> are you still like wearing like matching lingerie? You're not just shoving on boxers and wandering around. Boxers? You I think I own cons- boxers? You say football now? You think I, I own know. boxers? Yeah, I do actually. I don't know who you are anymore. I don't own boxers. I would never. And yes, my underwear still One match. day I'm going to go around yours and there's going to be a skiddy in the toilet and I'm going to be Behave. like, I've lost her. Oh. I've lost her. No, Catherine you... would never. Catherine would never. Who do you think I'm... What do you think I'm... Be, what, is your, what do you think I'm turning into in this scenario? I don't know. I don't know. Just not who I knew. Okay. I'm making some more sensible choices. Okay. I occasionally have to do things of a Sunday to make my girlfriend happy. Yeah. I remain myself. You're still having a bath every morning, putting bath salts in it and lighting a candle. Babe... This morning, I did an hour of Adrian and had a bath. Oh, see, I also hate that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? You Actually, wing, maybe maybe I'm wing. just a bit depressed. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Maybe just, no, uh, I cried for about two hours this morning. Maybe that's what it is. You should take that vitamin spray that you gave me. I it did. really helped no, me. No, it was like, um, it was a cry I put upon myself. Why? What happened? Oh, this is like, um, album came up recommended. You were on albums like recommended on Spotify. Mm-hmm. And you're like, oh, they understand me. It's called Disney Goes Classical, performed by the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. Right, yeah. And... <laughs> stop cry. Stop it. What is wrong with you? Behave yourself. Put your phone down. There's Don't a cover cry. of When She Loved Me from Toy Story 2. Right. By the Opera Men. I don't know what that means. Okay. It's just, you know, When She Loved Me, the Sarah McLaughlin song with Jesse and it's like the little cowboy. No. You know what? Let's have our guest. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have our guest. It's not happening. Let's talk Maybe about this in the extras. We'll Maybe we never bonded. Maybe we never connected. Extras. You know what I mean? Maybe it doesn't matter if I change. <laughs> Can you get it together? It's We're bringing in two goals. It's a very emotional time of year. And you have to get it together. Yes, ma'am. Please, welcome to Trusty Hogs. It's two goals. What the hell was that? I don't know. Sadness. Hello, thank you so much for listening to Trusty Hearts. Thank you so much. We just wanted to jump in really quickly and give our patron a little plug. Because it is thriving over there. Yeah, thanks so much to everyone who's joined. And if you want to join us, there's no pressure. Please enjoy the podcast otherwise. But if you do want to join us, there's so many benefits. You get an early access to the ep- episode. Mm-hmm. You get an extra episode a week. And you also get early access to our live shows. Now, the last one sold out in under 24 hours. So you'll <sighs> want to be a patron if you want to come to the one on June 4th, mm-hmm. uh, which will be on sale very soon. Please join. Please sign up. Please get a ticket. And hey, thanks to everyone who has already. And just a reminder, if you sign up now, there are over 70 extra episodes that you can access immediately. How many? Over 70, oh Catherine. Oh my God. It's unbelievable. But for now, please continue enjoying Trusty Hogs. Bye. It's Stuart Goldman, everybody. It's Stuart Goldman. Oh, my God. I've just had to break up a fight before we got on air what because fight? I was like the two of you because I was Helen has just insulted Stu Goldsmith by saying that he, she did his wonderful podcast Com Com Pod yes. and you said it was the worst time of your life one of the worst days of my life yeah what? that's so unfair it was unfair you've got quite a bad life surely yeah. <laughs> 
I'm actually thriving 24 7. So I don't know where that came from. It's because, no, because, right, I can hear, I didn't hear how it sounded That's until amazing. Catherine said it. And maybe I was a bit cutting. And for that, I'm sorry. Okay. But <laughs> the day I did it, I was really, I was so excited because number one, it's like a thing, mm. right? Doing com, you, you're aware of this. It's like doing, doing com com yeah. pod is like a tick on your career. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God. And I don't really know how I write. And I was like, this will be so useful because I'll be talking about what I do and then you'll tell me how I write to make Great it succinct for the listener. Great attitude. And then I'll learn. So I came to it with my notepads and my pen all ready to take down notes. I got one nugget, just one. It was an absolute waste of my wait, time. You, and wait, I, and I learned that I'm incredibly cringe. So we oh. both suffered. Is that what you said to Stuart? Well, like, he kept on being like, oh, like your brand is like basic and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, well, yeah, well, yours is cringe. And then... <laughs> And to be fair, you've done a lot of material about being basic. Yeah, well, but you I, are. I didn't tr- know I was cringe. Oh, no. And you, oh, what? Oh, so, <laughs> so it's that obvious that I am that you're like, God, how no, could you not know? Stuart, not. Stuart, this morning I went on my um, Instagram, popped up a clip from your amazing special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm 41, of course I am. Look at my trainers. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yeah, I it's don't, funny cringe. I don't know what you mean. What she means is you're a dad and you're older than her. Well, like, they're, they're but you've been knows. a dad since I met you. Like, since when I was 18 yeah, we and I met you. Yeah. I was a dad. You, oh, we, oh, you, I was a dad with those. Oh, you mean yeah. that yeah. energy. Oh, I'm yeah. a mom with no kids. Yeah, lovely. I have yes. a similar cringe energy. You that's have helpful. me. I, okay, so what, can we please break it down? Because I want to know what it is. I don't resist it. I agree with you. But I don't know what it is. Yeah, I and think... I, I like... It's I'm like earnest. a feel. It's a feel done fee earnestness. Is it? It's earnest? like. Is it that I say? Is it that I try to solve problems? Rather it's Phil Dunphy. Phil Dunphy is. Have that? you watched the Modern, Modern, Fam- family. Modern Family series? Uh, I know what it is. Oh, is he the dad? He's, he's the, the dad who loves magic. Yeah. He's like loves okay. everyone. He just wants his kids to be so happy all the time. I he likes his wife. That's, he's yes, a I've wife guy. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. One of his first lines in the series is like, "I'm a cool dad. I'm hip. I'm down with it. I use all the slang. Like, um, LOL. Lots of love. WTF? Why the?" face yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just really cute but I, but it's I sweetness oh well that's nice to know i guess i don't think that i'm like i would never go like i oh, know all the slack you know i don't think i'm like that you know what? i'm having a problem with calling people things that they don't see in themselves recently. <laughs> i had a fight last night because i've grouped the entire comedy industry into groups like and yeah. you either fit into like one group so like it was basically because my friends had just gone to see pierre novelli's show and i was yeah. like oh pierre novelli oh he's such a classic war boy and the war boys are people who whose audiences all have a copy of a biography of Hitler at home. <laughs> war Boy as in Mad Max, are they called War Boys? Is no, no, good? just War Boy is the vibe. So War Do Boys are like, students? they're not history students, they're men who have like biographies on battles and wars and Hitler. Yes, yeah, yeah, oh, the war audience. Boy, yes, so my yes, audience, yes. I'm, I'm a big thicko, so my crowd are the people who would like, <laughs> they'll buy they'll buy a DVD in 2050. Do you know what I mean? Like I'll be making money, like yeah, absolutely okay. no stress. I and then you've got that... Chaos Sluts, Edge Lords. Is there, who came up with the... Am I me? Am I, am I a chaos slut? What no, but you want to be, and that's the worst. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, who is it? Who do we know that's a chaos slut? Chaos Lou Sanders. Lou Sanders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're amazing. I? Chaos what? sluts is the best group to be yeah. in. What am I? What do you want to be? No, I just told you what I want to be, and you mocked me for it. What am I? <laughs> you're like you're edging towards chaos slut, but you can't because you're always in like a relationship. No, I'm And then all of your shows slut. end a with like. Slut. I guess I was heartbroken, but now I'm happy. <laughs> 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 is, hang on, there's got to be another. I do love Happiness to find whore? a thing. Yeah. I realised recently my wife's favourite uh, type of movie is a genre which I have named ambient grief. And I'm really yes. pleased that I've got that because I'm like, you know what that is? Yes. She likes so we're talking grief. after sun. We're talking, yes, exactly. yes we're talking. Mm, like a kid, the kid with a bike, a child getting yes. kicked down some stairs. You know, that kind of like yes. awful, like um, uh, nil by mouth. Like, yes. But less less plot and more kind of sobbing and, you know, just looking at the window. I think I like that. She'd yeah, love, right. she'd love seen, grief. Has she seen The Silent Girl on Colleen Kuhn? <gasps> mm, I don't know. Oh, that's very, okay. like, lots of heady music, lots of landscape, lots of tragedy happening yes, to children. Sure. That kind yes. of, like, yes. and no re- resolution. Everything's left, like, melancholy. Yeah, exactly. <gasps> yes. yeah. Oh. It was ever thus and yeah. forevermore she'll be. Oh, my God. They say with their eyes. Yeah, Have her yeah. text me. Um, I have so many movies. So I'd say you're an aggressive babe if you want to do it. So like okay. it would start with Joan Rivers, obviously, and then it filters down. Oh, I'll take but a like, dilution, Joan Rivers. I don't know that you're an aggr- I get chaos slut Lou Sanders. Absolutely. Yeah. Chaos Have you ever slut. seen me speak to an audience member? Yeah. She's not kind. Um, I'm quite mean. Quite. All right. 
<laughs> Andrew just did a, a loud mmm, which is the gayest interaction. Andrew, by the way, um, you're also a big thicko with me. A You're welcome. Thicko. Is that one of them? Is that a chaos slut, aggressive babe, or big thicko? Yeah, so a big thicko are people that go on stage and we're like, ooh, and the audience is like, oh, guess. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and no so what, where do I feature why? in this? Where's, yeah, where's if you I in this? If I want to be a chaos slut, do you want to know? Is, is that more so that I'm a <laughs> so cringe dad? That's more no, proof. That's so sweet. <laughs> but now that's I'm, the sweetest <laughs> thing you've ever said. I'm um, nervous to say what you are because I said this to my friend last night that he was one of these. Okay. And Who he did you say it to? Am I helping Neil O'Rourke. And, okay, and, and who, else, who else would... No, that Little that? Prince. <laughs> little, little Prince! Little Prince. Yeah, yeah, I like so it. So, Little well, Prince. Yeah. My ears have gone up. <laughs> 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 little princes are the ones that go on stage. G.O.D.'s actually a little prince. A, a little lot of people prince. think he's old, but he's actually a little prince. Yeah. So they're doing like, it's a lot of silly, like fun. They sort of talk about themselves and all the audience are going like, oh, oh what are they like? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of that. And it's like a whole little prince vibe. That's yeah, nice. I don't mind that. It's yeah, like, little princes are a big group. It's a good group to little be Little princes are also like the kid who mess up the nativity, but with a cute ad lib. Yeah. John yeah. Mulaney I'm, I'm is a little mums. prince. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. I'm yes. super good with mums. Who did yeah. you say? Yeah. John Joe Mulaney, he's a classic Joe little Lysett. prince. Sure. Joe Lysett. Joe Lysett, little prince. Yeah, correct. I'd, meet, I'd meet your mum and I'd call her Mrs. Catherine. Oh like my as, God. As a kind of like, a thing. yeah, yeah, yeah. The ultimate little prince behaviour. <laughs> She'd love it. <laughs> yeah, because it works when you're two and it works when you're 42. It's gorgeous. Yeah, right. That's okay. nice. Okay. That's prince. nice. Little prince is good. Good, so you accept it. I do accept that. Okay. It's specifically the cringe thing because I like, I, it's because I understand. I, I, it's like I've got this tantalizing, like I kind of get it. Mm -hmm. I kind of get it, mm -hmm. but I want to really get it. And I know that I know. I'm earnest. Like I'm, so I'm writing a show for Edinburgh at the moment. And yeah. It's, it's about climate change. Right? Awesome. But it's not cleverly, it's not something else that turns out to be climate change. I think it's going to be really earnest on the chin. About yeah. climate change. Like I'm doing Good. research. For Tell you what, learning. earnest climate <laughs> change chat is. Is that a little really cringe? And yeah, <laughs> that's my point. I think it will be. So I, I need to lean into it. I, this is why I need to do the you research. You've got to be a you. little prince. No, like, no, I don't. I I'm, you have you just have it okay. like don't I honestly think so I sometimes you take any action people overanalyze stuff sometimes oh, that's me to a tea, right. so, but just like yeah. let it go like okay. you're yeah, it like, is. there's a Fine. fun in the cringe like you are more than happy to do a joke even yeah. if the audience will go like oh like at the yeah, end of it okay. but you'll still enjoy doing it and they'll yes, fall in love with your will, enjoyment of it yes I think that's the other thing as well yes, so I think I've got a really and a really cheesy uh, like a really cheesy pun and I used to really enjoy doing it and then saying, I, and like run in the end of the line and go, and I don't respect you at all. Do you know yes. what I mean? Like that yes. sort of thing. I really yes. enjoy that. Okay. But I think Helen is the same. Like, Ultimately, Helen will often be right about historical fact on this podcast. She'll often be right about um, news on this 1914 podcast. Nineteen fourteen to nineteen eighteen. Right, she'll often, I'll often miss, I'll often misremember things that she remembers, and yet, no matter how many times that happens, yeah. she's the dumb bitch. Yes. Despite the fact I'm actually a genius. Because she just comes across as. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You but why challenge just gave a me big the most super big villain thicker. eye contact? <laughs> <laughs> you just gave that was like Kaiser Sozi, like a glimmer, <laughs> a tiny little glimmer of, um, and that's why I'll get away with it. And that's, that's how I'll kill. And I've killed your family, or they're in but this box. This, this is part of the reason I'm allowed to say some more horrific things on stage and other yes. people. Oh, because but there's no point were, thinking about you, it. it. People exactly. are like, she doesn't so mean it. Nice. She doesn't understand but what she's saying. Sure. <laughs> but she doesn't understand what she's but saying. But that's why I'm allowed to be aggressive is because they're like, mm. but surely with her accent, no, she's because, a babe. Well, and the fact you're yeah. wearing this hair, which is, I don't even, what's I look the like a doll. What's the hairstyle called that's when like When it's like there? clipped back? I don't know, but it's, it's like, like Frankie, doll. my dear, it, what's the movie, the... The Frank, Frank my dear, I don't give a damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's that movie called? What is it? It's Gone with the Wind. <gasps> I'll take it. So it's it. like that era of like, and you do, you wear dresses like that. Yeah. You gig in a I look like a cartoon and I sound like a cartoon or yes. like, a, like a sort of little old lady. So then when I'm like, are you two fucking? Everyone's like, yeah. I guess that's a normal question I, that you didn't mean. <laughs> I had such a lovely glimmer of that. And I, I, I kind of, I sort of respect and fear the propensity for that to come out of me. I did it like I, as I know that I look and sound like a nice person. And yeah. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Despite the fact you'll call a show person. prick, they'll yeah. still be like, "Oh, look at this!" Yeah. Oh, bless him. Do you know what? No, no, I can't. I can't tell. Go you on. No, you no, can. No, 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 no. Go on. Um, we'll respect you more if you do. Uh, if you're ever you going to do it here. Do I? Do I have right of edit? If, if I, if of I start course. saying yeah, of course. Oh, you have okay. that over everything. Okay, thank you. So. um... 
uh, the original ending of Prick yeah. was that I would get a woman out of the audience yeah. and she would give me a dead arm and then I would give her a dead arm. <laughs> but, like, but like for real. Like I'd really go for it. And I would I would say, I'm going to really go for it, so you have to really go for it. The, <laughs> oh my God, that's premise, so funny. The premise was, can like is it that people just like me and trust me so much that I can physically touch So <laughs> they'll let you face? do that. I had no idea. I should say, this is why I'm eggy about talking about it. Yeah. <laughs> No idea of the. I mean, it was just pre the cultural conversation. I had no. I mean, obviously that's fucking awful. You can't be hitting women on stage and making a joke out of it. Is it consensual? You, you can, and it was consensual. But I am also. It would have. I was really, and it didn't make it to the Edinburgh show. It was like a, yeah, 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 yeah. Sometimes it was eggy and weird, and sometimes it was the funniest thing anyone yeah, yeah, ever yeah. seen. And one time at a, a ski festival, I did it, and there was a woman who was like a professional kickboxer. And she <laughs> went to town. <laughs> and so I'm recovering. She'd done my left arm, so I, my right arm was okay. So I went to town as well. And then she sort of followed me around for the rest of the night and was kind of flirting with me. And I went, this doesn't feel good. That, oh my sort of, God, that no. feels so natural. No. There was like stuff going on. And I was like, no. That's interesting. But, but I, I, that was the original ending of that show was, can but, I be so, will they forgive me punching a woman on stage? When it didn't work, did you worry that it was because they just didn't want to see their little prince being violent. No, the most often the reason it most often wouldn't work is when the lady in question yeah. didn't go super hard. Oh yeah. yeah. Because if she only slightly hits me, then what can I can't no, belt you, her back. You, it's you, not allowed. Do you wanna do you wanna do it now? I mean, oh, yes, yes, but yes, honestly, yes, but to Helen. looking at both, but which, to Helen. which, which one Helen. of us do you reckon you'd I'm, rather take I'm a punch a, from? I'm a lot older and quite brittle, and I wouldn't like to take a punch from either of you because really, I think, both of you, I think you would have a lot of you. Have, I lift weights. Well, Surprise! It's more technique. I feel like you've got crazy bitch energy. I've got, <laughs> whereas you <laughs> are probably on. you probably get up and practice. I did martial arts. Catherine would get it direct, right. but I would so have no is, morals so behind it's her. A haymaker. It's a dead arm. It's a dead arm. Well, I don't know that. I don't know what so which way. Like sorry. So it's like the idea. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> it's a real shame there isn't a camera mounted there. <laughs> like an over. That my used head. to be. We if got rid of it. If you're listening, what Helen had done was raised her fists already for yeah. the hitting. It and was like uh, blinking. I, I, I'm fine with it, but the girls have got a terrible temper and they've been drinking all day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clarify. Helen Bauer, no. do you consent to this? Yes, 100%. I'm Stu not Goldsmith, sure that I do. You're do a bit you con- too up for it. Stu Goldsmith, do you consent to this crazy bitch energy coming for you? Can I suggest a dead leg? You may. Than a, yeah? You can suggest No, he wants it. <laughs> no, the man just wants it to casually okay, be closer to I his just, dick. I'm a Come bit on. older than I was and I've got responsibilities and I keep getting small bone breaks and it would be a terrible shame what? to uh, Even better, the Jeopardy yeah. just got higher. <laughs> the higher the Jeopardy, the better the show. That is so Bauer. Pure, yes. pure Bauer. That really scares me. Um, okay, right. So here, who wants to go first? Oh, you have to go first. I do the first hit. I think so. Sick. Okay. Um, Wait, no, no, Helen, look at me. Look yeah, at me. No, I know. Do not go near his dick. Yeah. Look at okay, me. I'm gonna do come. not go near his dick. Are you look, s- look say it, it back. I won't go near. I won't go near his dick. Say it back to me again. I won't go near his dick. Great. Are you gonna cover your standing, penis? So you're going right. Okay, I feel like it. it'd be. I okay. would. Okay. Kind of there. there. Okay. He's marked a spot. It's a three. It's a two. <laughs> oh, I missed. <laughs> Well, technically, contact was made. So no, 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 that doesn't count. That doesn't count. I have to get another shot. Do you consent to a follow-up shot? shot. Go, go for it. We're really go for it. Oh, ah, she missed again. That's it. You're done. Come on. What? Go, like, go for it. She missed Are you twice. Going she for missed, it? missed okay, twice. Okay. Wait, no, I'm going to go down um, like yeah, Donkey I would go down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She go, missed go, go, go. twice. Here she goes. Prepare for the Thunderdome. Okay, that was, that was cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've been punched by a lot of women in the... Uh, do you not get a shot back? Specifically. Yes, I do, but I, that was so gentle. I wouldn't... I'll give you a little one. No, I want a proper one. Do you want a proper one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, my gosh, she wants... She's asked for it. Don't break it. <laughs> <laughs> that looked so sore. That looked... <laughs> She's crying. The, the bitch is crying. Why would not you crying. do that? <laughs> You can have another go. Have another no, go. I don't want to. I won't, no, you can have I don't want to play with no, him anymore. No, get another go. She has to understand that the world is not always a fair place. You, you are fucked up. That was fucked up. 
<laughs> I thought we were doing it for fun. I Helen, for real. Do not mind. You mustn't get this is what it, this is why you're earnest. Look at me. I, I, Look at me. Really, Look at me. No, no, this used to break me too. She's fine. She it She's really a sounds it really sounds like you're genuinely crying. If I was listening yeah. to this and couldn't see your face. <laughs> yeah, she's I, that is such a realistic cry. But she's my not God. without a single tear. She's fine. <laughs> I'm sorry that you <laughs> felt the need to think, get so violent with so, such Helen. a young woman. Oh God. Oh. <laughs> No. If you were looking at me, she oh, consented. She hit you first. She yeah. hit you twice. She yeah. begged for a real one. She asked for it. She asked for it. No, I thought I, I heard it. 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 She did agree to it, and then she used that as a piece of theatre, and you mustn't buy into it. Well, I still feel terrible. <laughs> That's what and she wants. And I think, and I think she that wins. feeling will last a lot longer than the bruise. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope it bruises. I love she a bruise love a for bruise. the attention. She you love know? a bruise. <laughs> but you, can, you can genuinely, I think it's, the, 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 where it originated from, the idea is that I genuinely think it's quite funny to get a deadline. I don't yeah. mind if you give me a proper one because that moment of, t- it's not, you're not going to. No, I was trying to so. really physically maim you. She I genuinely twice. was. Okay. I don't think. Do you want to take a shot on her behalf? No, I don't. I'd love to no, see it. No, I don't. No, I. Sorry, to be clear, this is mental. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say you this. You have been the biggest instigator of all. Yeah. Of <laughs> I will say this. I think this is why my this siblings is are not to... my world of fighting. Like, I'm not saying I'm not a fighter. No, no. I think I'm definitely like, if I was to fight, I think it'd be dirty. You, We're talking you're a, like you're a hair puller and yeah. around it. Really like vicious. She I'd go for the eyes. In no, your eyes. Qu- yeah, no yeah, qualms, yeah, yeah, yeah. no problems. I would definitely fight like proper street she, dirty. She like she's not going to start a fight. She's absolutely. <laughs> right. Yeah. Whereas, Can you tell that I would start a fight? Can you tell that I was a third and three siblings? I was like the eldest. Start a fight and then run away. I go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did that. Like, look how I organized Oh, that. my God, you fucked us. Yeah. But I had wow. a great time. I can't believe you missed twice. This that is, was wild. This has been a lot for me. Oh, my God. And I just, so how sad. are you a dad? The guilt complex you have. Are you like this? Do your kids get you around their little finger this easy? Oh, yeah, oh when you dead like your kids. Yeah. <laughs> you know no, when you they dead beat like... the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> they really, they love absolutely go for it. Um, uh, uh, the, do they do they manipulate you emotionally as successfully as Helen? Yes, God, yeah. yes. Well, so um, <laughs> they are in in two different ways. My son is very um, he's very uh, uh, kind of eloquent, nice. and he's so he's seven. He's a big reader and a writer. Yeah, and he, wow. All through the pandemic, he would be writing me no. If he was angry, he would write me an angry. <laughs> Now he said he literally says things to me like "You'll pay for this," and I go "What?" and he says "I vow it." You know? Oh my god! Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. my god! And you've, you've met him, right? Like he's yeah, a, he's, he's a little, really cute. cute little he's adorable. A very cute little kid, dresses like an absolute pimp. He's like he's like sort of that's you know, amazing. Fur coat and sparkly leggings and stuff. Yes. And I vow. Them. And then he will. Um, and then he's he'll aggressive send on stage too. That's yeah, that's an aggressive babe. Yeah. That's yeah. an aggressive babe. Um, whereas uh, my daughter will. She's very kind of resilient and calm and, and centered, a lot more like her mum. But she, like he's very like me, emotions yeah. on his on his sleeve sort of thing, very close to the surface. He's wow. very up and down. Whereas she's very kind of consistent, but she really treats me with sort of disdain. She's just <laughs> in the last. She's four, and only really in the last <laughs> six months, yeah. she started doing very overt, daddy, and giving me a cuddle. But I just. It's not that it's put on. I know she loves me, but it's absolutely a decision she's making. She's like, I want a thing. He needs yeah. this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 totally. They, and just know people will me. tell you that's a phase and it's not because I'm 31 <laughs> and I'm still doing it to my yeah, dad. Totally. Like, You're right, Michael. It'll so, work out. So my wife pointed out that um, uh, so funny. when he was getting really, like he's has gone through phases of really mad, mad, vicious, angry, tam- yeah. not vicious, not physical. Yeah. Like, bless him. He can't, he's tried to hit me, but can't because he's a good kid and he just ends up going... Mm, like that, oh, so he wounds with his words. But when he um when he was in one of his phases, he 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 would say like I'd say to him, listen, I mate, I know you're upset. Just I love you. It's gonna be okay. I love you. And he would go, I don't want anyone to love me. 
and, and, and I would be like, oh, God, I've sort of irreparably emotionally ruined him. But my wife pointed out a little while so later, funny, though. after a breath, she said, look, he's pushing your buttons because you always tell him how much you love him. So yeah. he knows that is important to you. So he is cutting off your ability to do that. Oh, However, God. consciously or unconsciously, yeah, yeah, you know, kids yeah. are like little scientists. They just do this. Oh, what, what, my what, what, God. Yeah. yeah. So he's, he's like, I don't want anyone to love me. And I'm like, oh, <sighs> but that's Papa's job. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> don't exactly. take away my face. Favorite thing. Totally. So oh, there is a bless. sort of there is a psychological war within that part of parenthood. How do you not either? Fuck. My my issue in those contexts, one of two things would happen. If he's like, I vow it, I would be crying, laughing. Like it's so, how oh, do you keep a straight man, face? It's and so it? hard to do because ob- obviously, of course, you've upset funny. him. And of course, the the language which I use with them day to day is like, I've I've really just learned very recently that when he's mad. It used to be a year ago, if he was really angry with me, I would make him laugh and I could bounce him out of it. Mm-hmm. And, he'd, and he'd just kind of... Pfft, him, yeah. oh, him and his sister do this thing where if they get cross with each other, they will. one of them will blow out their cheeks at the other, like, like that. And so oh, the other one will. Cute. And then they both can't help but go... And then it'll make them Aww. laugh. It's magical. If I try and make him laugh when he's in a bad mood, he, now, nine times out of ten... He, it will make him worse because he'll start mm. laughing and then he'll be furious at me for breaking the emotion that he's trying to feel. Yeah, because he's, he's genuinely fair. feeling it and it's totally, not funny. Totally, yeah. totally. And if, I, if I'm if i like, mm, I'm just sort of saying, you know, whatever, that's, wow. yeah, that's uh, the last person who said that to me, he died or whatever, you know, I'm just yeah. trying to make yeah. him giggle. <laughs> yeah. You know, and he'll just, he will laugh once and then he'll be furious. And Christmas Day, two hours, he was furious with me for two hours right in the middle of Christmas Day. What did Day. you do? I tried to suggest to him that eating a roast potato would be good and you're a fucking we're not even sometimes. trying to get him to uh, eat you veg no. we're not you even trying to get to monster. eat veg like you'll, you'll like this it's a trick just absolutely lost why are you mind tricking him he doesn't <laughs> want to do it he doesn't wow. want to do it so how does he get out of it now um he it it goes through phases where it happens less often at the moment. Mm. And now I've realised, never try and make him laugh. Give him the time, say, you don't need my friend. Oh. The psychologist gave me a great tip. She said, I say to him out loud, I say, you don't need me right now. That's fine. And I leave the room and I let him come to me. And sometimes it's like a white knuckle. It's been an hour. And then a little oh. note comes under the table. <gasps> the note? Oh. What does the yeah, note yeah. say? Oh, um, I've got lots of sorry notes. And, and like he... Oh, God. When I he, love this so child. When he's, when he's mad at me, he will often... He's got a little diagram. He does. He'll draw an unhappy face of himself. And then he'll draw a heart with a zigzag line. Of <gasps> Devastating. Like broken my heart. You know, so it's really <gasps> the drama. It's very dramatic. Catherine, we should implement some of these parenting <laughs> things for our relationship. I can't believe I was honestly thinking the same thing. Do you I want like, some notes? Like, I'll write some I notes. would appreciate some notes. I also think that you could maybe not try to make me laugh when I'm trying to feel an emotion. Oh, I don't know how to handle it. I, I have she to. She just flashes a tit at why me. You do it? Is that like, you, is the rawness of genuine If Catherine's crying, I don't know what to do. She's. She does this thing where she tries to make me laugh. If that doesn't work, she shows me a tit. If that doesn't work, she will be such a cunt to me, which always makes me laugh. Okay. So when we did Gigless and I was like a little bit heartbroken, Helen would come in, be nice to me. And the second we'd go on camera, she'd be like, this fucking bitch is crying again. And I'd be like, I was just telling you a secret. (laughs) But it made me laugh. It worked. Hey, this sounds like you're going to be a good advice giver. Oh, I hope so. Would yeah. you help us solve a listener I problem? I absolutely love Have you got one that's about cringe? Advice. <laughs> How's your leg? Helen! <laughs> the last person who said that to me had a dead leg. Go on. Do you imagine if I just had blood seeping through my jeans? Oh, God. You wish. I know, I do. <laughs> I really wish. do. She do doesn't do... wear a tampon I... so she can be like, it's an injury. <laughs> I've, I've watched this. I've watched clips of this and I didn't realise that the screen is right there. Oh, yeah. I know, I it's do mad. Show. Every time you look at Andrew, the screen is above you've got to look at your own face it's oh, awful hell, hell. no it really is hell but I like to check my hair and Helen occasion, yes, occasionally gets distracted by herself and then I get to say something yes and I've got I've got so my hair useful. goes in one direction and every time I see it I, I try and fix the bit and then I'm doing the wrong side I'm making it worse God, it looks God. great you look Andrew lovely. we're looking Funny. at you okay <laughs> Let's have it. Put myself on the screen. Yeah. Oh, so much better. Yes. Come on, Andrew. Yes. Go on, Andrew. Behave yourself. It's not fucking fit. It's great protecting you from well. the rain. It is a great top. Uh, so this is from T. Hi, Hi T. Um, it says, Hi, Hogs. Uh, this podcast is total comfort and enjoyment for me. Uh, thank you for being so open and honest. Nice. You're welcome. 
Uh, I'm nine years into a relationship. Oh, Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nine years old. I'm nine years old. And my life is irreparably ruined. <laughs> my dad keeps trying to make me laugh. On it. Okay, this is good. Nine years into a relationship. Yep. relationship. Okay. Uh, we're pretty solid and I totally respect her and want the very best for her in every aspect of her life. However, I've been left confused about a future with her after a recent conversation about gender binary. Here we go. Here we Absolutely go. Absolutely my specialist subject. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, hell. dear. Um, I was a lot more feminine when we met and my gender questioning has grown over the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never expressed the feelings to anyone because I'm accepted uh, uh, as I am by everyone that matters to me. Um, so I've never felt the need to. Last week, we had a conversation with someone about someone's preferred pronouns mm -hmm. and the label of non-binary. My partner made some questionable comments about uh, someone from our own community, which really took me by surprise. She meant no malice, but I feel like I could now never have that conversation with her about my feelings um, and my own gender because of this. Uh, I feel a slight sense of relief at sending this email because, as I've said, I've never talked about this with anyone. Uh, I'm so confused. I'm in love with her, but not her values and beliefs. My question is, would her opinions change if it's me that's talking about it? Would this open her eyes and give us the possibility to continue the relationship? Uh, or is this a massive red flag and unavoidable change? Great. Interesting. Proper. Proper. I've got I've got uh, I've got some key principles to apply here. Okay, great. What's the I, first thing that pops into your head. I have a thought. Go on. But I, I actually think it'd be interesting to hear what Stu has to say because I think at the table, l longest term relationship is you know you're oh, in, sure, yeah. And I think there's something a lot to me. A lot of this is more about relationship. Yeah. And trust, yeah, hundred percent. Then it yes. is about. Well, I went out well, with someone about... for two months once, so I don't think okay. just count my. Stu, please tell us your thoughts. Uh, you've got to be honest. You've got yeah. to be honest. You have mm. to absolutely have to have the conversation, um, and that's horrible and scary. Obviously, it's horrible and scary because you don't want to maybe ruin the good thing you've got, mm -hmm. but you haven't got the good thing you think you've got unless you're being honest with each other. Yeah. So. If you suspect, like, I love the person, but not the values, the values are part of the person. Yeah. The values are mutable and changeable, and you can you can discuss them and talk about them. But if you're not doing that, it'll be this little thing in the back of the mind for, you, for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So no way, dude. You've got to, um, uh, that's non-binary, dude. Yeah. You, uh, you, <laughs> I liked it. You have to... Uh, you have to talk about it. That's like if they said something, I mean, take the idea of the, whether it's about gender or what have you, out of it. Yeah. Say it was something about race or say it was mm -hmm. something about religion, something that is a that you think, you, that you're you scared that it might be a fundamental core belief mm -hmm. of your partner. Mm. But if you don't talk about it, you'll never know. And if you, if you don't talk about it, you might never find out that actually they've got things to say about it that that they're prepared to work through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You might have misunderstood where they're coming from. They might have spoken casually. They might they it might be something they're able to get over. People change. So don't carry like don't risk having the relationship that you that you're worried that you've got. Yeah. Keep on having it for 10 years maybe yeah. at the time you're like, "Oh, secretly they don't respect this that the other I can't yeah. mention it." Maybe they'd be fine with it, but you'll yeah. never know. You've got to be honest. Such a good prince answer. I completely agree. I've got, I've I've got, got a better answer. answer. Before, before you get to that. Oh no. I think I'm, uh, we'll have yours at the end. I think. No, mine's really I, good. Okay, I'm go on. Really go on. The, I'm really go relishing on. the dynamic of Fine. the lion and the lion tamer. It's honestly good, tedious. <laughs> go on. What is it? Mine's really good because you mentioned that you've been questioning your gender identity for like a long time, but your partner might not have had put any thought into it until recent like months or even this conversation. So you've had a long time to think about it and mull it over, but then other people are just forming like first gambling steps into an opinion they might be repeating something they heard they might have felt out of depth in the conversation i think that's like a really common thing when people say things they might not necessarily mean but they just feel out of depth and they're just trying to say something because your time and thought into it is not anything compared to theirs opinions do change particularly with topics like this that for a lot of people do feel like a new topic despite the fact they're not it is new for a lot of people but you do have to be honest and i think i crushed it Interesting. That was actually a very good That's piece good of answer. advice. Yeah. A really good, good piece Also, of if you're questioning this one belief as the end of your relationship, then maybe it's not a good relationship. Oh. <laughs> well, no, I disagree. I don't think being like worried that my partner who I've loved this whole time might see me change and thus hate yeah, me for start a fresh. Part that start fresh. That's intrinsic isn't start a fresh tea. Here. Wow, stop it. Okay, <laughs> here's my thoughts. I agree that I think you will ruin the relationship by assuming the worst, as Stu says, if you don't just tell the truth anyway. Yeah. I also completely agree. It's possible that this person was speaking at offhand I think that's really the issue for me is I think you've set a test for her that she doesn't know she's participating in it's like 
Here's a theoretical. Never test people when they don't know they're being tested. Here's a theoretic for you. Oh, you failed. Because they don't know the stakes. They don't know who they're talking about. And look, should you have to know... <laughs> I said don't know the stakes, I pictured the stakes. Should you have to know... Okay. Yeah, I was you, caught up on the term a theoretic, and I remember you're a debating champ, and that's why I we just, should always listen to you. But I just think... I don't think there's any scenario in which... I don't think you should have to know a non-binary person to have the capacity for empathy with non-binary people. Oh, great. However, we also know that... Whether we like it or not, people are more likely to be compassionate towards gay people if they've met a gay person or if they have a gay person in their family. People generally can humanize trans people more when they have met or known or been friends with a trans person. Like segregation only fe- like fosters racism. We know that like obviously empathy is born of experiential like shared sh- a shared experience. Yeah. So I think. So there's first of all that. So I don't think we can go, she's obviously on the wrong side of this. And it will, by the way, still hurt if she is on the wrong side and then is more likely to come around to it because it's you, right? Like it'll still be like, ah, I wish that that wasn't why, right? But I think it's very possible. I also think there's a possibility that I think there's another scenario, right, where she put has put all the non-binary people on an island. No, and where, then you can go um, meet all of them in one go. No, where she has thought about it because I don't know. I, I I don't know that you can be in a relationship with a person for nine years, experience their gender, and not have questions about it. And perhaps that's true. She yeah. was expressing defense or fear of you mm-hmm. changing, yeah, but well, it I'm, might but it might transpire to be that. It might not be the like a an issue is non-binary. It might be like. If you change, what does it mean about your feelings towards me? Have they yeah. changed? Do I have to change? There's like lots of human fears here, all of which you have to have a conversation with her. I, I have a question about the, the like the person that you're in the relationship with, if you change, also has the right to go, I, do they not have the right to go, I sort of preferred you, the person that I met? Mm. Yeah, and listen, I think that they can... Like my wife would not like me if I were bald. And it is a constant fear. Wow. Oh, really? Or short. Wow. I suddenly, I, I creep around. You'd be by a great short, up. bald I, king. I, I, think, I think I'd be a short, bald king. I'm yeah. like, but it's about what, what's inside. And she's like, yeah, yeah, totally. And then I'll sneak up behind her pretending to be shorter and she'll really freak out. Wow. And with, with all due respect and love to my short and bald kings out there. I like, think there's a distinction here, though. There's a distinction I'm here. I'm being very facile about it. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I actually was going to say that I think there's a distinction between affording you dignity, respect, and care and not being attracted to you. Those are two distinct things right so like yeah. I like to think that like in either scenario they don't this person doesn't stop loving liking respecting or affording you dignity but may no longer be attracted to you and that is something that you they have every prerogative to do but my goodness me I think we're jumping the gun because I actually just think you gotta talk to your girl it's a conversation mm-hmm. I think we're all agreed it's like you need to sit down and sort of like don't go in it with anger or be on the defense or assume that they're going to be sort of like defensive or not say the right thing just like find it in your heart to be able to open up and sort mm-hmm. of like Chat and after them nine, it must be hard. I don't think we're not pretending that isn't hard. And you're no, scared of after nine mm-hmm. years. Yeah, and yeah it's huge thing. But I think if you want another nine years out of it, you you it's mm-hmm. got to it's got to be on a bedrock of agreed. And also, yeah. this person, bear in mind, has had will have had the minutes it takes you to say the sentences to think about it, possibly. So yeah. they're coming in for like it's okay to maybe be like, I'm going to tell you this thing, and then you have every right to go and think about it. Yeah, and yeah, not yeah. give me your mm-hmm. first terrible reaction. That's yeah. nice, Catherine, to allow like, someone like a bit of time. Yeah, like maybe you should talk to a friend before you talk to me. Maybe you should talk to it like there. Maybe you should talk totally. to your mom. Before. People are like, so much better at, at this. The things that you're talking about are such a great expression of how much better some people have got. How much I don't mean the discourse, but whatever the word yeah. is mm. for um, people getting. Uh, what I'm trying to say is. I've had conversations with partners over the many years I've yeah. been alive that have not been conducted in as eloquent, kind of emotionally of articulate yeah. and eloquent a way. And I think but actually, me too. Yeah, right. Me too. It's not like... Oh, well, it's, you mean it's easier when it's not your jam, you don't care? No, I'm yeah. saying it's much easier when it's hard. Like, it's a hard one. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I... And also, this yeah, is my yeah. wheelhouse, right? Like, I've dated people of all genders. I have like we're, like generally I think the same stigma that applies to trans and non-binary people now is the same language and nonsense they were using against gay people when I was growing up it's mm-hmm. just morphed because we have a new target like it feels very much like the vernacular I'm used to if we were talking about an issue that didn't affect me as we just talked about I would be more like eh! but mm-hmm. I think yeah I just think you gotta give her benefit of the doubt but also like don't be afraid to be like I'm gonna leave this with you or I'm gonna write you a letter for example um like you wrote a very good email to us. There's no reason to say you couldn't write a great email to her. I'd say one her final. Did you see, su- see her into the? Yeah, yeah. 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 
Just one final suggestion. If during the conversation you do find yourself getting cross with each other, puff up your cheeks. <laughs> Both of you and just look at each other and just Good see what system. happens. It's Listen, a good system. If it works for those kids, why not us? And also, um, you know, I think as the other thing to say is, worst case scenario, you tell her who you are and she can't love you in the same way. You get to be who you are and you had a beautiful time together while it was what it was. Best case scenario, she knows you better and it works better. Yeah. Pretty good odds, I think. Where was this measured Catherine when we were beating the shit out of each other? Oh, she was on a holiday. She was on an <laughs> yeah. island playing music, having a just, dance by herself. Just to return briefly to the beating up thing. Please. Are you totally confident I'm not going to be cancelled? Oh, yeah! On yes. my life, totally well, I, confident. Well, I put my house on it. I don't it's fine. Think that I, made, I don't think I... I worry that I haven't made it clear enough that the reason that bit... Like, I'm so lucky that I didn't put that bit in the show because I was an idiot at the time and had no idea of the number of people out there for whom that would be triggering in a kind oh, of I think, domestic violence. But I think that's... Kind of way. I oh, no, 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 no. I, 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 I was I was in. I was 110% in. It was quite clear that I was like, yeah. oh, my yes, God. I would yes. Oh, I would have done your face just, if it was an well, yeah, option. Sure, sure, <laughs> like, okay, cool, that cool. is not even a yeah. question. We're, yeah, uh, It's just that we we pivoted quite hard there, as you do on this yeah. show. <laughs> Being fucking dick-swinging idiots to uh, dealing with someone's real... We love it. We love a pivot. But also, I... I kind of think that that's like I've done things like I think we should almost even keep this part of the conversation in because oh no we I'm just because, totally because I I have learned things from saying things on stage and being like and we've had them go okay and being yeah. like I will never do that again because yeah. the risk that I took there was ill informed yeah. and crazy yes. like I've. Um, but our intention was to discuss something that you thought about doing ages ago and then didn't yeah. do and then we I had some fun with from... it but the intention is not to trigger someone and For there's sure. such a big difference sure. of course would you, um, would you trigger warning the episode we have like little notes under episodes like specifically I this doubt that people would I... read it but we can if you'd rather I think I think I rather would not because yeah, I'm scared of being cancelled I don't want to be like no. I'm incredibly no. and I'm scared of being cancelled I'm yeah. very happy for all this Trigger we can yeah, it can be in the I blurb think, under the that, episode that is important to me because like I feel like I get it now way yeah, more yeah I like that I'm let's really plug your you special to, though in, yeah. <laughs> off the back of that uh, oh, yeah, TV, <laughs> TV chat let's just gear shift again in what's effectively let's a just say in a series of handbrake turns <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for you doing that Tell us about your special. Please tell oh, us there. about your special. It is so sweet and open-hearted. <laughs> and, and, uh, and open-handed. So leave that no, one. No, no, no. Um, it's called I Need You Alive. And it mm-hmm. sort of is accreted around the uh, the my realisation that if every, in terms of my family, if everything <laughs> if everything goes according to plan, I die first. Right? That's, Very that's good. That's now the plan, right? Because, wow. you know, I need them all alive. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And they need me alive less than they need any of the each other alive. And I feel fine with that. And it's about kind of accepting Aww. it. And it's about I'm sort of halfway through my life, if I'm lucky. And yeah. uh, it's just about sort of recognising that stuff. And there's some stuff in there about my friend who was told he had 20 years to live, which is... Fucking preposterous! What an insane some, number! An insane number. So there's some stuff about that, and there's some lovely stuff about uh, my. There's some lovely. There's some very very funny. It's like all my favourite bits from two different shows put together, and oh, it's lush. like it's been produced by Eight Hundred Pound Gorilla. So yeah. it is a properly. I've produced Amazing. my own specials before, but this is like, oh, someone thinks this is good enough to take a huge financial risk. Yeah, on great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and where can people? Looks, oh, I believe you. Great. Where can people watch it? Uh, they can find it. Uh, you, the links are at stuartgoldsmith.com, and it is that there is a worldwide uh, online premiere which is a new thing how exciting at 8pm on the 23rd of February 8pm 23rd of February with that's so cool out by yeah the, yeah right. so um, so at that time you can and you can part of your ticket you can get you can watch it live and I think there's like live com- like a comment chat box kind of throughout nice. it and if you get the right sort of ticket then there's an after party which will be a zoom with me Cute. oh you guys who are here from Giggless particularly 100% should yeah. do that if yeah, you're yeah, missing yeah. like it's, comedy online that's the that's way to so do it fun. it's really it's really Really, really fun. I'm so That's proud so of it. Fun. It's very hard to describe to people what it is because it isn't a live streamed show. They are streaming a 
pre-recorded and beautifully edited and perfected, honed yeah. thing, yeah. but that we all watch it together. Don't worry, Stu, the young kids will understand it. it. It's a yeah, YouTube they're... live that's well, uploaded later my... and then you can still watch it and see the comments come up as yeah, it goes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so they will understand it, but my audience are not, they're slanted away slightly from young kids. Oh, they'll do I, anything I, for the little when, prince. They'll when, I did, <laughs> when I did the mailing list shout out, fuck me, I got a lot of replies going, oh yeah, list. I'll come and see it. Where is it? It's, it's on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> my mailing list shower. Not an Instagram story, my mailing list shower. Oh my god. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's a mailing list. Thank you so it's much, a, Stuart Carlton, for coming on. Make sure you go and see it. Find me at online. Oh, 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 I've never been so aggressively outro That was wonderful. God, I don't want it to end. No, no, no. Thank you so much to our executive producers, Simon Moores, Guy Goodman, Mary Fox, Annie Tonner, Sarah Harkey Deacon, and Oliver Jago. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You guys are legends. We're so grateful to you. Also, thank you too. We have a new producer. How very exciting. You do it all in one breath. I can't. (laughs) Richard Bicknell, L, Richard Bald, Neil Redmond, Victoria Hutchinson, Emma Walton, Karen and David Ball, Harold Van Dyke, Eddie Doyle, Tim and Dom, David Walker, Rachel R, Anthony Conway, Sadie Cashmore, Claire Owen Jones, Jess and Nick, Zoe, Joe Holmes, Sarah and Molly, Alex Pugh, Josie W, Amy, Cordelia, Raya Fink, Rachel Page, Helen A, Tina Lindsay, Sophie Chivers, Graham Marsh, Emily G, Amy O'Reardon, Abby Wharf, Key Webb, Kai Webb, Matt Sims. <gasps> Thank you so much and welcome to Matt Sims to the Star. Guys, thank you so much for supporting us. We're so grateful we couldn't do it without you. And we I know. Really appreciate it's been you amazing. Here. It's been amazing. If you're not already a Patreon, you should be. Get on there. Come on, when work doesn't us. come in for us, it means that we can keep doing this and we don't have to run around scrabbling in a cafe. <laughs> exactly. And also, um, now if you're on the Patreon, you get the podcast without ads. Mm. Yes, Hello. please. As well as all the other benefits you get too. And the extra episodes. I mean, there's so many extra. There's an extra episode for every episode that you've had. It. And the min shot. Anyway, Excuse thank me, you what? so much. I told you not Bye. to. Bye. <laughs>